It's no news on social media that Miss Trudy is selling out with Maya. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess Banigo. To all my returnees, you're welcome. And if you're new, thank you so much for coming to the channel. There's this interview that is trending on social media where Miss Trudy opened up on a lot of things that has been going on in a marriage. Hmm. You would think that she would know better but with the things that miss trudy have said it just gives you an insight that a lot has been going on with the trumaya gang let's get into this marriage is a beautiful thing but when you marry into another african country entirely <laughs> then there just might be conversations like this that we're about to have yes in the beginning of this video i mentioned that miss trudy is selling out with the maya well she's not selling out with the maya really she's just giving us insight into what their marriage has been like in you know almost a year plus that she has been married to with the maya um she had a couple of things to say which we're gonna listen and analyze here but first things first there's so many conversation about miss trudy complaining about Ghanaian food and i saw lots of comments people saying oh she just has to stick up with it already and deal with it already i mean she mentioned these are more in this you know video that i'm going to play for you guys but i'm just saying when you decide to marry into another african country you're kenyan you marry a Ghanaian, you should know that things are going to be different you should know that it's not going to be all bed of roses but love took you there i mean but the fact that you found out all this thing doesn't mean you will not speak about them which is what miss trudy is doing right now but i mean it's not easy when you leave you know your hometown your country and everything you've known as a young girl all these years into you know a new country you know their lifestyle like miss trudy said and when the Ghanaians want to say something they will say please are you crazy <laughs> i beg your pardon here in nigeria nobody's gonna tell you please are you crazy they will tell you you did crazy or straight up are you crazy so here miss trudy give us this insight hmm it's such an eye opener but she went further and that is what i want to bring here for you guys to hear let's go listen to miss trudy and i will be back all the time traveling together Ugh, life was amazing um for years maybe two years past two years or just everywhere we go together and then uh, i remember one day who oh, maya sat me down and he told me you know what um i can't be traveling with you everywhere hey i was shattered felt like my heart was broken i cried I cried. Like, why? Why don't you want to travel with me everywhere? I thought we're in love. I thought it's me and you against the world. Me and you for life. Why would you say you don't want to travel? It might have burden to you, you know. It, it, it was so heartbreaking, but um, I, I realized and he told me, and it was true, but I guess I didn't want to accept it, that you can't travel with your partner all the time because, first of all, we, our goals are not exactly the same. Mm. Maya's goal is to travel around any every African country. That's not my goal. Mm. Me, I want to travel. I just want to inspire um, people to know that absolutely nothing is impossible and you need to chase your dreams. That's my goal. But it took me so long to accept that. Or to see it like that. I, I just wanted to go with Maya everywhere. And when you travel together, sometimes I'm a lady. Mm. So it may take a little longer to get ready. Maya doesn't joke with his time. So I, he'd have to wait for me. Sometimes we'd have to argue about time. Mm. Or sometimes we go to do content. He wants to do something. I want to do something else. He has to wait for me. Or sometimes you're shooting the same kind of content. It's difficult when he has to shoot. I have to. It's not easy. As much as being married to Maya is the best thing that's ever happened to me, I think we all need to know, and I think it is something we have now accepted, that we are two different people with two different goals, although we love each other. So we travel together every once in a while when we can, um, but when we travel apart, I'm still okay with it. I trust my husband. He trusts me. I'm not going to cheat on my husband. He's not going to cheat on me. Although, mm -hmm. initially, I used to be so scared. Oh, I used to be so scared. 
I used to cry. Oh my god, I used to cry so much because when he travels alone, people would send me videos. Oh, have you seen Maya with this girl? And he'd be doing nothing. He just met someone for content creation and they shoot videos. But guys would be like, oh, did you see how the girl touched her? Oh my, oh my god. god. I would, I would, my, oh, I would cry. I can imagine. And um, I would call him. And people did not know this. But I... <laughs> I think I, we almost ended our relationship so many times because I was like, you know me, I'm just a strong woman. Like, personally, I don't need a man. I want a man, but I don't... Like, you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Mm. I, I have... I can get anything I want by myself because I work so hard and I have the money. So I'm with my husband because he's my soulmate and I love him so much. Mm-hmm. And, I, you, know, you know, you get my point. So I... When this was happening, it was getting on my nerves. I don't know if you understand me. Mm. It's not easy to have a partner who's a content creator and they are famous. Uh, it was hard. But what was making it so hard for you in the beginning? You know, when he's when he told you that you know, let's travel less. Because I was like, why would you say that? But what was making it difficult for you to understand? I think I was just so in love. Right. So you see, when you're so in love with someone, the world doesn't matter. It's you two for life. So we go everywhere. We are so in love. Ah, like we're gonna travel the world together. At least that's what I was thinking in my mind. We're gonna travel the world together. So when he told me that, I was like, "Are you tired of me? Is it because you're tired? I thought you loved me. So now, now you want us to go separate ways, you know? Or um, is it the comment section on YouTube? Are they getting to you? Now, because of what they've said, now you want us to travel together. Or is there someone else? Is there someone else who you want to be talking to when I'm not around? I mean, all these thoughts will go through mm. your mind. Oh, wow. It's so crazy. crazy. I used to cry. And then later on, he was traveling. And he's like, he's going to this country. I'm like, you're going without me. Without me. And I'd cry. And it's not the crying of, you know, wiping your tears. Like crying. Like, you like can't go without me. <laughs> Why would you... Because he changed my life so much mm. and I think I became so addicted to him. I couldn't Attached. see my life without him. Mm. And he has given me direction. Oh my God, he has no... I don't know if he knows how much direction he brought in my life because I was so lost. Wow. So I'm like, now if this is taken away, what I, I feel so lost. Mm. But then the thing is, you can't lose yourself because of someone else. We yeah, all have a different purpose. And people are sent into our lives sometimes for a reason, to help direct us or to help us sometimes hold our hand for a period and then you have to do the rest yourself. Yes. But at that time, I didn't see it like that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how? Oh. So yeah, I think that's why I was just so broken. Deep and insightful, if you ask me. What a lot of young couples need to know is that marriage is not a bed of roses. Miss Judy said she almost left a marriage, not once, not twice. Like, she almost left the relationship. This is to tell you that it takes a whole lot of work and effort to make a marriage work. You see people doing relationship goals, couple goals on social media, and you think, oh, they're having it good all the time. I know there are days when they feel like yanking each other's heads off but because of the love the understanding and the trust you have for each other you try to stick it through imagine miss judy saying people send pictures of Maya with girls trust me as a creator i see it and i wonder how is this woman coping and then some people will say it is a bad idea for you and your partner to be in the same profession but at the end of the day also i mean it just requires a whole lot of understanding from both parties which is what miss judy has um, attained in regards of the relationship so far this is just one year plus i think they are still very very young if you ask a lot of people who I've been married for 20 years, 15 years, 10 years, 8 years, 7 years, 6 years, 5 years. They will tell you the first one year, two year. <laughs> it was not easy. Anyway, Miss Judy has more to say. Let's go listen. Do you think as a couple, now, you have enough time together? You spend enough time together? No, I don't think we spend enough time together. Yeah, because you're always, always traveling Although we've been in Ghana like for a month, I think actually this is the longest we've ever been in Ghana. 
I honestly think we can do better and we will do better. But the challenge is traveling is our job. Uh, and I understand. I understand him because I'm in the same profession. Although I know that we will need to make some adjustments. Well, <clears throat> let's talk about the cultural differences. For me, before I got married, I always said that you know, cultural difference will be a big deal for me. Yes, guys, Miss Trudy went for that to talk about the, you know, cultural differences, you know, being married to um, a Ghanaian man and what it's like, the experience and whatnot. Um, I think this was really um, quite an eye opener. Well, I'm not a newbie to marriage, but I'm sure to some of the young people that are looking up to their marriage and whatnot, she was really vulnerable and open, um, not in a bad way, and she did not come and put her husband on a blast because it takes two people to make a relationship work. And um, I hope they keep working out for good because marriage is not a bed of roses but once you guys find your feet and you have the understanding even when the you know arguments here and there come then you'll have a better way and a better insight on how to deal with it anyway this is all switching so much love to miss trudy and um the person who hosted the podcast connect one i think anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye for now <laughs>